This is like a major concert announcement right here. I'm so excited. I know, I know. We all are. US 99, Chicago's hottest country. Jason and Katie in the morning, 708. Aaron's here. And let's introduce our brand new cast member to the show who is originally from Chicago, right here, born and raised. Chicago, yeah. Scotty yeah. K. Well, Everybody if we're getting technical. Yeah, uh, the Northwest suburbs. So my mom's in Buffalo Grove, Arlington Heights area. Grew up in Wheeling. So if we're getting technical, which we are, shout out to our Wheeling Wildcats. Yeah. Okay, yes. it, but Scotty, your, <laughs> Scotty, your whole story as far as how you got back home just a few weeks ago is is remarkable. So if you'll share it with us, please. Yeah, no, I thank you for giving me the time to share that. No, you know it's really interesting because uh, about six years ago, I did like the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life, and then um, about less than a month ago. I took probably one of the biggest risks I've ever taken in my life mm -hmm. and ultimately led me to you guys. So, you know, I, I, my, I have this nine-year-old son uh, who is my life. And about six years ago, I got a really good opportunity. I was in Chicago here on the radio for about seven years. And I got a cool opportunity to do a morning show, a big morning show in Atlanta. And actually, that's where I met Jason. Mm -hmm. We were in the same building. And I was like, oh, great. There's this tall, handsome guy that everyone's talking about. How am I going to compete with that? So we had a lot. We actually had a lot of fun. So in Atlanta, I, I took this opportunity to go down and and do a morning show. And the hardest part about it was obviously is that I had to hop in the car and drive 600 miles away from my son. Mm -hmm. And uh, his mom and I were not together at the time, but we had a good relationship. And I promised him one thing. And, and I always told him we never break promises. I said, I promise to be back. I promise I will come back. And for the last five and a half years, I actually travel back and forth every single weekend, uh, every other weekend, sorry, every other weekend to see him. To be dad, because that was the one thing I didn't want to miss out on wow. is being dad is while I took those opportunities, you know, to try and to have a better life and a career opportunity, whether it's the right decision or not. I don't know. I've, so when I left, it did. It came with like a lot of guilt and a, and a lot right. and um, and a lot. It was really, really hard. It was very, very hard. It was one of the hardest things I ever did in my life. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of success in Atlanta and he was able to visit me a couple of times and and people were able to take a journey with me. We ended up leaving Atlanta. Uh, to, uh, we actually had a lot of success and uh, we were hired away from Atlanta to go to Dallas. So when I told him again that I was moving and he asked me if I was moving home and I had to tell him no again, it got even harder at that right. point. Um, in Atlanta, I also met the love of my life, my now fiance, uh, Shelby, who at that point we were together about a year and in radio, this business is a little crazy. And she decided she was going to come with me to Dallas so we nice. can continue our life together. Um, but that added another layer of separation in my life, right? So I had my son here in Chicago and, and the rest of my family. And then I had my fiance and my future and my career in Dallas at that point. So I was feeling so split into so many different pieces. Mm -hmm. And, um, and when it came down to it, um, I, I would, you know, still come back every other weekend and there were moments like this. So I surprised my son, uh, one time and I came in a day early and this was his reaction. Jason, can you play that? <laughs> Hi. Daddy. Hi. It's been so long. Oh my god. I mean that's that's oh, that, that's what it's all about right there. So yeah. I started missing things. I was missing I missed the first tooth. I wasn't able to take him to school for the first time. Like Katie, you got to do yesterday. You saw how special that was. So I didn't get to do those things. And eventually uh I decided it was time to put my family back together. And essentially, I just quit my job. I, I had a morning show, which and everybody here in the room knows in radio. Once you get a morning show in a big market, like you don't people like don't, you don't quit leave on your own, right? Right. <laughs> you, like you get fired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You usually, you have a lot of success, and then they fire you. Right. <laughs> so I decided, you know, what's right for me is to go ahead and put my family together. So I took a really big risk. I had no job here in Chicago, um, and I was just going to bet on me. And and uh, and then I got a, a phone call, you know, a couple weeks back. And actually, it was Katie. The first time we had talked, <laughs> no, I don't know if you remember the first no. our experience together, Katie. This isn't happening. Was the vo this voicemail? No. that I got. Okay, listen yes. to this. No, Shh, Katie. I hate you, Scotty. Oh, we are thinking about you and talking about you. Hi, Scotty. <laughs> we want to meet you. <laughs> oh my God, you sound like a porn star. <laughs> this is my first experience with Katie. Yeah, that, that was me in the background. Going, you sound like a porn star. Stop. Well, okay. it's well, your it's your phone voice, okay. Katie. No, I was trying to, I was trying to get him to come by to meet us. Uh -huh. Scotty, we are so happy you are here. Your story is amazing and it tears me up that you truly bet on yourself. You left a great job in a major market in Dallas 
to come here just to be near your son and be in his life every single day with no job. That is a huge risk. And that says so much about you as a person, as a father. Um, welcome to Chicago. Welcome Thank to you. our show. And welcome, yeah, welcome to the family. We are happy really. to have you here. I've got another parent on the show with me now. <laughs> Somebody who understands. Well, I will, I, will, I will say this. I'm so... It, to be on the radio again in Chicago, it means more than I think anybody might ever know. I, sometimes I over romanticize what radio can do, and I think it can change lives in, in so many different ways. And we have a cool opportunity and responsibility to help people start their every their day every day. Mm-hmm. So to be able to do that again, especially with you guys, is so special. And you know, Katie, it came down to this, and and Jason and Aaron um, by telling my son that I was quitting my job, which he heard all the time. I can't because I have to work. Right. Essentially, I felt like I was saying you're the most important thing in my life. And now I get to put him, my fiance together and, um, and, and stories we'll get into later. I mean, it took a lot. There were a lot of lessons. He learned co-parenting and luckily his mom and, uh, and her husband, um, we don't even call him stepdad. We call him other dad because we have Uh a really special relationship, but, uh, I couldn't have done it without the support. And now I'm excited to take this next chapter with the support of you guys and this family and us 99. And we're going to do something special for Chicago. All right. Well, Scotty, welcome. Yeah.